Now that Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is out in theaters, a lot of fans around the world are very intrigued about the future of the franchise and exactly what Disney and Lucasfilm went through with all the reshoots and the rewrites that involved with this movie. This is Mike Zero. make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about, of course, Episode 9 is that we do know that this movie went through a lot of different changes and adjustments. In case you guys are currently unaware, we've been talking about this for a number of months, is that Disney and Lucasfilm changed many different scenes of this movie. In fact, it's one of the main reasons as to why Matt Smith is no longer in the movie as a young version of Palpatine. Originally, we were going to have many different scenes in this film. There were three different cuts of the movie at one point in time, leading up to the final cut of Episode 9 by J.J. Abrams, Disney and Lucasfilm. Now, as far as the ending, a lot of fans have either a criticism toward the very end of Episode 9 between, you know, Ben Solo, Rey, Kylo Ren, whatever you want to say, right? In that exact moment, there were different scenarios during the reshoots of Episode 9 and different cuts of the movie. Now, on top of all of this, what's rather intriguing about one of the original scenes of the ending of Episode 9 is that it's explained that Disney and Lucasfilm went through various reshoots during the months of August, September, and October when both Kathleen Kennedy and Bob Iger wanted to create a different tone of the film. Now, it's said that these changes were made so that Disney and Lucasfilm could create a film that would cater to a general audience more so, and that they wanted to focus less on Palpatine and Luke Skywalker in this story, and more so on the characters of Rey, Poe, and Finn. Understandable, right? Now, it's said that one of the major scenes that were filmed in early 2019 that were cut involved a segment in which it involved the ending of the film. It said that one of the deleted scenes involved both Ben Solo and Rey using Leia and Anakin's lightsabers against Darth Sidious, where they originally were going to both block the Force Lightning from Palpatine, where Sidious would eventually Force push Rey and Ben Solo, where he sucks their life force after realizing that their Force Bond is a Force Dyad. Originally, Palpatine was going to use his iconic lightsaber against both Ben Solo and Rey inside of his throne room on Exegol, that would have brought the fans back to how it felt from episode three Revenge of the Sith, where Palpatine would perform intense fighting styles to fight both Rey and Ben Solo. Now, Palpatine was originally going to have a brand new lightsaber that has and was different in design as far as the hilt and appeared like Count Dooku's in shape, however, it still held a red blade, and that there was going to be a segment in the film in which Sidious would be able to use his iconic Force Scream attack against ben both Ben Solo and Rey. Now, Palpatine's original death in the film, and the most recent one before the reshoots, involved the Force Ghosts of the past dragging Palpatine's spirit into the netherworld of the Force. Originally, Rey was going to kill Palpatine with a lightsaber by striking her grandfather down, where his spirit was going to be revealed and trying to enter into Rey's body. This is where the Force Ghosts are supposed to intervene and protect Rey in the process, and dragging his spirit into the netherworld of the Force. So let's go over a couple of parts about this and as to why this sounds like it would have been, in my opinion, a more satisfying end to the Skywalker Saga. Now, if you guys have been following my spoilers review and my reaction to The Rise of Skywalker, you guys may very well be aware that I was not a big fan of how the actual movie ended when it came to Palpatine's death. Now, there's a lot of things that I do love about the movie, but there's also a lot of things that I really do not like about the film, so just keep that, you know, in mind there. Now, the reason as to why I like this is because not only did this involve a moment in which both Ben Solo and Rey were fighting Palpatine to the death and were using the legacy lightsabers, one that belonged to Anakin and the other one, of course, belonging to Leia, but this also involved a segment in which Palpatine would use his very own lightsaber, very much like how it was done in Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Now, the, what's so great about this is that a lot of fans out there, including myself, love Episode 3. In fact, it really is the best of the prequel trilogy. There is no denying that. And the fact that, originally, there was indeed a Palpatine lightsaber scene where he even used his Force Scream attack against both Ben Solo and Rey. You can only imagine what it really would have been like on the big screen, right? In the final cut of the movie, by the way, spoilers in case you guys are just tuning in right now. Um, the end of the movie, we really have Palpatine not really doing much. Uh, for the majority of the film, he's hooked up to that crane machine that keeps his body alive and well. And apart from that... 
we only get like maybe three to four minutes of Palpatine rejuvenated, max, if that. So, really, we only had the one true Emperor for like three minutes in the movie where he's all rejuvenated, he's got the yellow Sith eyes, he's using his Force Storm, he's, you know, shooting lightning at Rey where she deflects it back at him and he dies and disintegrates into nothing. Uh, but his original death was going to involve the Force Ghosts of the past. And that actually was going to also involve the appearance of Palpatine's spirit. You guys may recall that we talked about this a couple of months ago, where originally they were going to explore Palpatine's spirit as this red abstract figure that would actually glow and actually float around inside of Palpatine's old throne room, inside on Exegol. Now, the thing about that is that that would actually leave Palpatine pretty much, you know, vulnerable for the Force goes to drag him into the Netherworld. And to me, I think that sounds very creepy and very, you know, uh, horrific in a sense because it allows the fans to realize that Palpatine's death was actually done by the Force Ghosts and everything done by, you know, different realms of the Star Wars universe. And I think that would have really added a different layer to the Star Wars franchise. I think it would have really given the Star Wars fans something else to look at, and I honestly believe that it would have been a better death for Sidious, a more unpredictable death. Um, this death in The Rise of Skywalker, I feel, is just too generic, in my opinion, uh, too predictable, and should have been stopped by Sidious. He could have just stopped, you know, shooting Force Lightning if he really wanted to, whereas if Palpatine legitimately died by the hands of his own grand, you know, daughter, if Rey was able to strike him down as originally planned, where his spirit was going to pass on into Rey, that to me, I think would have been more interesting. Seeing Palpatine's spirit, exactly what it really looks like. We do know that in the final cut of the movie, they only tease it. They only talk about it. You know, he only talks about how, you know, uh, you came here as a Jedi, and she says yes, and he says no, you know, you came here to kill me. Kill me, and my spirit will pass into you. You will be Empress, we will be one. That's what Palpatine says in the film. So, the fact that he says that, you will be Empress, we will be one, Palpatine had a plan to become a part of Rey. He never wanted Rey to just kill him. He wanted to become a part of her. And that, to me, was an interesting side of the story. To see that in the original cut, you know, they could have explored that, of how Palpatine would have almost succeeded at doing something like that to his own granddaughter, only for the Force Ghost to prevent that plan from even happening, I think would have been a far better end to Palpatine's life. That's at least how I see things. Um, but everything related to all the different changes that Disney and Lucasfilm went through, like I say, a lot of changes were made to this movie, you know, a lot of uh, reshoots were done for three months straight. 30% of the movie was cut and reshot, in case you guys did not know. That's exactly why the marketing of this film wasn't as great as The Last Jedi's and The Force Awakens in my book. It's why we saw a lot less, and it's why we saw little to no Palpatine in the footage. It's because they wanted to market this thing in a different way, because they cut a lot of Palpatine's screen time down to only 12 minutes in total. And it really is unfortunate that in this movie, you know, we only get him for about three minutes in the beginning, and then for about, I would say, 30 seconds as a hologram in the middle, and then for about, yeah, like give or take, you know, seven to eight minutes around there, maybe nine, at the very, very end of this movie. So, with that being said, I will say that the Force Ghost really should have been seen in the film as for the original cut instead of just disembodied voices. I think that would have been a more satisfying route to actually have the fans witness the Force Ghost for themselves to see exactly, you know, what they look like on the big screen and how they're actually helping Rey in the process and defeating Palpatine's spirit and dragging it into Netherworld. Kind of brings you back to the expanded universe as well of how Palpatine actually died in the EU. It really does bring you back to that. So, with that being said, guys, I would really love to hear what each and every one of you have to say about the deleted segment of the ending of Episode 9. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.
nights in the 